Hello everyone. So today I would like to talk to you about how can we receive everything as a gift? Actually, literally everything. I know it's easier said than done. <laughs> so that's why we're here. <laughs> and I would like to share a little something that happened to me recently that was very eye-opening, very simple, yet so profound. So, you know, when we think about um, receiving uh, everything that life throws at us as a gift, we often think about something big, like um, being let go of a job and having to rethink everything, like uh, a separation, uh, or even like a disease, an illness. When we can reflect on those big challenges, we often we, we can see and appreciate the growth that came out of it. Well, we're not so much going to talk about that here. It's more about all those daily little things that we can play with and choose to really see and welcome as a gift. So this, <clears throat> the little experience that I went through uh, was very recently, I, I, um, I was in need of grounding right? So I live on a high rise. So sometimes I do very strongly need to, uh, to ground, <laughs> literally. So uh, what I did is I went to a park that I love nearby, and I lay down on uh, the earth and by a tree with my head by a tree. And I was um, trying to find the perfect position so I could relax and really ground myself. But it took me like maybe 10 minutes for like those 10 minutes, I realized that I was not being comfortable. I was trying to find the perfect position. Um, something was, you know, the bothering me, like the branches and the root of the tree. And it was not, it was not working. <laughs> and after those, like, yeah, about 10 minutes, I realized that I was fighting something. <laughs> I was not welcoming what was happening instead I wanted to get out of it I wanted to get out of that discomfort and I've been struggling with the little neck pain and back and this and that so as soon as I realized what was happening like I can spend you know another 10 minutes trying to get out of that discomfort <laughs> keep fighting or I can take a step back I can sit with it and welcome that discomfort and this is what I did. As soon as I realized that, I decided to sit with it and, and see what that discomfort had to teach me. Obviously, it was there to tell me something, to show me something. I could choose to see it that way and receive in that way instead of fighting. Does that make sense? So this is what happened. I sat with it. And I started to welcome the discomfort and welcome the pain here in the neck and welcome all those little discomfort. And this is what I realized. A lot of, of times in my life when I feel uncomfortable, um, I don't really sit with it. I tend to want this, the discomfort to go away, find a way for it to disappear. So that was a first it's very small, but such a big realization for me. Whoa, what a gift. And I kept pushing it a little further. So I kept playing with the pain. It's like, oh, welcoming it instead of wanting it to go away. What, what's happening here? What is, how does that feel? It feels tight. I don't, I want support. I wish something could support my neck. Right? I'm, I feel I'm not having the support I need. Oh, big. Another huge realization. Yet so simple, yet, right? Amazing. As soon as I realized that, something op opened in my heart. What if I ask for support? This is part of the receiving process. Wow. How can I be better supported? Let's see what actually my neck needs and all of a sudden the most amazing thing happened the branch like the root of the tree that was kind of bothering and I was trying to figure out a way out of this whole mess became my support and if I moved a little bit like this oh it was perfect and I decided to push it a little further and open my heart a little more 
And then all of those little rocks and branches and here and there, by shifting my perception and receiving, they start to kind of feel like little acupressure points here and there. And it started to feel so good, right? So, well, and then the mind starts rushing again. And, and so, but, but I got glimpses of what the receiving, all those little hindrances, <laughs> you know, obstacles here and there. If I chose to receive them as a gift instead of fighting them, everything changed everything changed so i wanted to share that little piece with you um, because this with this video i invite you uh, to reflect on um, anything in your life right now that you may see as um, something annoying something you want to get out out of or something that you may want to change it can be your partner <laughs> something about your partner it can be um, a situation at work it can be anything even you know being stuck in traffic and getting annoyed you know little it can be anything small and play with it and instead of wanting to get out of this or wanting to change that situation because it's uncomfortable or you don't like it maybe maybe try to look at it from a different angle and remember that there is a learning opportunity in everything. And actually, this may be a gift. You can choose to receive it as a gift. How cool is that? And again, the choice is yours. Only you can do this, <laughs> right? So just play with it. Play with it and see. Maybe if you look at it from a, that angle or this angle or that angle, what is it telling you about yourself? It might be a way of reacting to the situation. It might be um, how that makes you feel. Maybe reminds you of something in childhood. Maybe it could be anything, anything. If you're stuck in traffic, it can be, oh, I'm going to be late. What if you're going to be late? How does that make you feel? What does that bring up in you? Really try to choose to receive that little annoying <laughs> moment as a gift and see what it will tell you. And it doesn't have to be something huge and life-changing, but let, let yourself be surprised. Let me tell you, let me tell you, have fun with this. You can be surprised with the tiniest little things. So that's what I wanted to share with you guys. I'm gonna add another extra little thing that happened to me right before making this video. I've been having a little cold sore here, as you can see, for a few days. And I've been wanting to share these videos with you for a few days. And before <laughs> filming myself, um, I was like, oh, trying to hide it. I was like, oh, no, that looks horrible, you know, trying to hide and everything. And it took me, again, a few minutes to realize exactly what I'm sharing with you guys. What am I doing? I want out of this. This is uncomfortable. Let me receive that little situation here as a gift and see what it has to teach me <laughs> about myself. So here it was. I took a step back. I took a breath and I realized, oh, how I'm perceived is important to me. How people see me does matter to me. Simple, right? But that was a huge, <laughs> a huge moment in my heart. And I, and I totally received that instead of wanting to wait for it to, to disappear before I can do this little video or hiding it, right? So I'm not uncomfortable. Something opened. And I'm like, okay, gift, let me do this. And I can even use that little example in the video to add to the content. How cool is that? How cool is that? So really, really, um, I hope it's going to inspire you, inspire you to explore, explore anything right here, right now that you're not liking, that you're not loving, that you would like to change and sit with it and welcome it as the gift. And I would love to hear any insight leave comments if you'd like any insight anything that showed up for you right have fun with this all right thank you very much and i will see you very soon